Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Thursday Almost Live. Uh, to start our program off this morning, I'd like to start with a photo of the day. Shane asked me if I had a photo ready to go, and I said, indeed I do. Look at that pretty little baby. That is Brooklyn Jane, our new granddaughter. She was born on February 22nd, and I just knew, like any good grandparent, that all of you would be dying to see pictures of Brooklyn. So there she is. Hey, this Sunday, we'll be having our services online, as we always do, but also we'll be having in-person services again. And those will be at 9 and 1045, our usual morning service time. Uh, but don't forget that while the services will be at their regular time, this weekend, time changes. That's right, daylight savings time is starting. So don't forget to turn your clocks forward for daylight savings time this weekend. Uh, when you come, if uh, you're not yet ready to be inside for an in-person service uh, and you'd like, you can pick up the service on FM in our church parking lot on FM 105.9. So a lot of options. Services are online if you're staying home, in the parking lot on 105.9, or come on inside for the in-person service at 9 or 1045, but don't forget to set your clocks ahead. Uh, this week, we're going to have a special guest, Pastor Dave Whittle. Uh, I just finished the series called Backwards Blessings. Uh, last week, we had a guest speaker as well, uh, Shokrat, who uh, finished up that series telling about his experience of living with persecution. Uh, this week, Pastor Dave, uh, who retired a couple years ago, is now part of our church family, is going to be sharing. I'm getting a little break this week and next, and uh, so I encourage you to tune in Sunday or be here Sunday and hear what Pastor Dave has to share with us. Speaking of Sunday morning and hearing what's going on, we sent a survey out a couple weeks ago for people who would benefit from hearing assistance when they come to an in-person service. Uh, for some time, we've had a uh, hearing, uh, what do I call it, a little receiver unit that has disposable earbuds that amplifies what's going on, and that's been very helpful. But some people have asked us about newer systems that would actually interface with their hearing aids. And as we've checked around and we sent that survey out, uh, we know that there are two main ways that people can interface with a sound system through their hearing aids. One of those is called Telecoil or T-Coil, and it's a little bit older technology, but a lot of folks have hearing aids that work with Telecoil. The other is Bluetooth, which most new, newer hearing aids can handle Bluetooth. And so we've picked up a couple of new systems. One is for Telecoil. Uh, you wear a little necklace that has the Telecoil receiver in it, and it then lets your hearing aid connect with that receiver. Uh, the other is a Bluetooth system that we just installed. And to use that, uh, if your hearing aid is paired with your smartphone, then you download a little app to your smartphone and you're able to hear through that. Uh, this week, this Sunday, is the first Sunday that we have all of that hooked up and running. And uh, Shane's been working on that. It, and so what we need are some people to help us check it out, make sure that it's working well. So if any of those works for you, uh, in particular the Telecoil and the Bluetooth, and you could stop by the AV booth on Sunday morning and let Shane know, uh, we'll set you up and you can let us know how the system works. And that should help get you ready for Easter. Man, Easter is coming quick. And one of the questions we have about this Easter Sunday is for seating at our services. We will, of course, have two morning services like normal. The question is, will there be a lot of extra people? Maybe guests you're bringing with you. Uh, maybe it's gonna be the first Sunday you decide that you wanna come back to an in-person service. And we need to know how many people we can anticipate. The reason being, with the current restrictions, we can't have more than 200 people in a service. And so if it looks like we're going to have more people than normal show up, we might need to add a third service. So to help us figure that out, a little survey is going out today via email. And if you could please look for that and fill that out and send it right back. Uh, we need to make this decision by next Wednesday. And so the sooner we know back how many people are planning to come to Easter Sunday service, that would really help us out. If you can't find in your email, then contact the church office and we'll make sure that you're able to get that survey. 
So again, look for that survey. It'll be coming in your email today. Check your spam folder if you don't see it in your inbox and then get right back to us and let us know so we can decide if we're going to have two or three services on Easter Sunday. Deep Dive. Uh, Deep Dive tonight will be available online at 7 o'clock. And uh, tonight, Darren Sweeney and Tom Overton uh, with Hope 61 are going to be sharing about that ministry. And uh, Darren has a brand new position within Hope 61. And if you listen to tonight's program, you're going to figure out what that position is. And we're real excited for Darren. And of course, Darren is also our youth director and doing a great job. In fact, Darren was sharing with us in staff meeting that at youth group this week, I believe it was 23 junior high students that showed up. So uh, we just really appreciate the work that Darren and his volunteer staff are doing with our youth and also the work that he's doing with Hope 61. So tune in tonight to hear that deep dive. Next Thursday night, I'm going to be hosting the deep dive and be thinking about reflecting on what it's been like to live this last year with COVID. And a lot of you sent thoughts in. I'm gonna have a little Zoom conversation with a few folks about that. So uh, I encourage you to be planning for that next Thursday night. DC Campus 2.0, how are things coming along? Things are coming along well. Uh, the sheetrock I told you last week is all up. They started the taping today. So that's gonna be a week or so in getting that finished up. And then they'll start patching all the holes in the front part of the entryway. If you've been coming to in-person services the last couple of weeks and you've been looking around that entryway, you'll realize it looks a little bit like Swiss cheese because we've been doing wiring and things. And so as soon as they're done taping up and finishing the new addition, they're gonna move over and do some patching on the, uh, the current side. So that's where we're at on DC Campus 2.0. All right, how about a scripture for today? Uh, Pastor Dave this week is going to be speaking out of Daniel chapter 6. And, and this story comes from a time when Daniel was doing well and others were getting jealous and really hoping to torpedo his rising political fortune. Uh, and, and so they started looking for flaws. They started looking for a way to do Daniel in. And uh, they had this problem. Daniel 6.5, it says, These men said, We shall not find any ground for complaint against this Daniel unless we find it in connection with the law of his God. Now, I'm not going to steal any of Pastor Dave's thunder. But this verse does make me ask myself this hard question. Uh, and that is, if somebody wanted to do me political harm, what could they come up with? Would the only flaw be that I was so faithful in my love and service of God? That's not too bad of a flaw. Uh, I hope that that will be your flaw today. Hope it's my flaw today as well. Hey, let's close with a word of prayer. Father, thank you for life, the gift of life. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Lord, I pray that today our flaw would be that we are faithful to you in everything that we do. Uh, thank you for your faithfulness to us. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that will do us for Thursday Live this week. Uh, trust that you have a great weekend and that we'll see you on Sunday. Thank you.